you can go and buy one. Well, see, it's not about the money. The truth is, I don't have enough control over my life. Who cares? Neil, with your genius, you could do incredible things. Yeah, someday I will. But for now, I'm just a teenager. I want to do dumb, stupid, fun things. Hey, guys. Hey, Kate. Neil, you ready to go? Kate, just a second. Look, John, I really appreciate all you've done for me. Maybe someday we will work together again. I hope you're not angry. Actually, I kind of envy you. When you're really ready to get back into business again, call me. You have what it takes to be a millionaire. So do I. I mean, today. Right now, this second. Wait, I was being too stuck. Can you help me out here? Help you out, JP. What do you got to make it worth my while? Hey, I've made plenty of favors with you. You know, there goes my Alzheimer's kicking in. You got nothing fresh for me, I'll see you in several months. Oh, I can't believe this. Believe it, JP. Watch me walk away. What? The cop shot this street. They said y'all wanted information on that. Hey, you wanna talk or what? Sure, let's chat. Hey. Place where they can be spotted by helicopters. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Oh no, I just meant this table right here. But thank you, I appreciate that. I mean, I was trying to push her out of the way. Why would she leave into the path of the gun? Well, because she's a professional bodyguard. A bodyguard? The best. I could have taken care of that guy, but hey, it's her job. She insisted that in this type of situation, I should drop to my knees behind her. For her safety as well as my own. So you're a bodyguard to the stars? Uh, 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 yeah. I'm a bodyguard. So as a professional bodyguard, you're trained to handle these situations. You weren't afraid? No. No. I, I wasn't afraid. I do this all the time. Danny and I just want to say how much we love you. We do. Uh, and how darn proud we are of you. We are. <laughs> and how much your family loves you. They do. And I just love you so much, honey. She does. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Except Lucky is the man who can be more proud of his grandson than his own children. I mean, it's like God giving you a second chance to get it right. So, here's to Charlie, or should I say, Dr. Charles Gamble. I, too, would like to make a toast. Charlie, someday when you become a brilliant doctor, I hope you can come home and surgically remove your grandfather's head from his ass.
Well, it's too late because I'm not going. <laughs> oh, 